genome sequencing and the ability to compare genome sequences uh, is a window into how we have evolved as a species and how all living organisms uh, evolve and are related to each other. Uh, by comparing genomes, by looking uh, for small differences, these are often clues as to how the genome encodes for important phenotypes. And one of the most uh, important phenotypes is understanding uh, why certain people are susceptible uh, to particular diseases and others aren't. In the distant past, about 15 or 20 years ago, sequencing was a very difficult task. It required big machines and took a long time. We have miniaturised sequencing now with the advent of the nanopore system, which means that we can rapidly get a diagnosis based on the changes in the patient's genetic code within 24 hours, something which used to take in the past several days or even weeks. This research came about as a collaboration between different uh, academic centres who wanted to see whether it would be possible to use uh, nanopore sequencing in order to sequence a whole human genome for the first time. One of the most important findings from this research was, was that even though the human genome reference um, was completed or thought to be completed a while ago, uh, it still contains uh, uh, many missing pieces and we were able to close some of those gaps in the sequence by developing a new method for sequencing extremely long uh, sequencing reads uh, using the nanopore sequencing uh, device. We were able to generate reads up to a million bases uh, in length and that's several orders of magnitude longer than ever been demonstrated before on this device or any others. The importance of getting extremely long sequencing reads is that if you imagine the process of putting a genome together as a kind of jigsaw puzzle, this is analogous to having uh, very large pieces in your jigsaw puzzle, which makes the complexity of putting it all back together again uh, much less. I'm quite optimistic about genomic medicine. I think that we will get to a situation in the near future, in about five to ten years, where genetic sequencing is ubiquitous as may boiling the kettle or making a cup of tea. I think everybody will have access to it and I think everybody will be able to use it. There's a, a trend towards something called homebrew genetics where people will take it into their own power to sequence their own genome. And I think this is where we're heading towards as a society, consumer-based genetics.